What's going on guys, your boy Kmac here, and it is almost Christmas, it's almost that time of the year where gamers can just relax and play, but with that being said, it is still the most hectic time of the year for you last minute shoppers out there. Now I know that I always procrastinate my Christmas shopping, and uh, I actually went Christmas shopping today for my girlfriend and the rest of my family and friends, and it was a fucking zoo at the mall, there's probably you know, 500 to 600 people crammed into the mall and lines were long and hectic and traffic was crazy and shitty and it was annoying. But it got me thinking to, um, you know, might be some people out there that haven't finished their Christmas shopping yet and they might be having trouble looking for gifts for their gaming sons or their gaming, you know, grandchildren. And they might not have any ideas what to get for their kids that like to game. So um, I'm going to make a list of the top five, maybe five or six items that are you know easy quick last second buys for people that like to, like video games so we're gonna jump right into this number five pretty easy and most standard is the actual games themselves you know do they do find out what games they have what games they want to play and uh you know go out and get them they, they won't be sold out um you can usually get them at a good, a good price around here halo 4 i know is going on sale at most places right now for $39.99, whereas I paid 60 bucks for it like when it first came out. So that sale is pretty sweet. They might be sold out of that at certain places, but you could probably still find that. I think it's like going on a Best Buy and GameStop and a few other places. So other than Halo 4, you know, it's obviously like being you're watching Black Ops 2, but also some, you know, other big names out there this, this season are Assassin's Creed 3 and what, uh, that game looks really, really good. There's also Far Cry 3. Uh, but uh, it's all about preference, and also make sure you don't get them a game they already have. So make sure to just do the easy thing and ask. Ask them what game they want, and uh, make sure you get it for the right system, too. Also ask for what system, if you don't know what system they play, just ask them. Just, you know, 360, PlayStation, maybe Wii U, maybe the original Wii. You know, um, those are all easy things to do, and just make sure you don't have, they don't have to take it back and re exchange it. So make sure you ask that question. Just know what you're doing, what you're getting. Now the next thing you, I'm going to advise you guys to get for your gaming um, person you're looking to buy for is either Microsoft points, PSN network points, or uh, Nintendo network points. Now if you're not sure what these little cards are, you may be thinking like, oh $20 for this little card, what the hell is this? They're actually really, really cool and they're really, really helpful and you know I love getting Microsoft points personally because I know I don't really need them right now, but one of that map pack comes out I don't want to drop 10 bucks on that I don't want to you know bust out my credit card for that I want to put my information for that I want to have that card ready and if you're not familiar with what those points do you can use them as online currency to download like map packs or full games mini games anything online that's fun it's awesome they have all kinds of all kinds of crazy games and add-ons and map packs and themes and gamer picks and you name it they have it on xbox and psn so uh, those are really 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 fun to have really really good to have in your back pocket and just in case you need them and i love getting those i ask for those for christmas is how much i love them and i'm a huge gamer so that just goes up to tell you how awesome they are now the next thing might be a little out of some people's price range and it might be a little late to actually get this um here for christmas but uh, nonetheless, it's still a good gift idea, it is a SCUF gaming controller. If you don't know what a SCUF gaming controller is, it is pretty much a higher-end gaming controller that is for the serious gamer that likes to play first-person shooters. It has um, extra buttons on the back, on the back paddles, so there's uh, extra add-on things. It makes it easier to play first-person shooters like Call of Duty and Halo and you know some other games like that. And um, people swear by them. I personally don't have one, but I've wanted one for quite some time. And uh, I've, I've read many reviews on them. And I've watched many people that are bigger names in the Call of Duty scene rave about how awesome these controllers are. So I asked one for Christmas. I should be getting mine in a couple days here. I'll probably do a review of it just so you guys know how awesome it is. But it's awesome. You guys have got to see these. I'll leave a link in the channels and, and the bottom of this. So you guys can go over there and check out their website. And they can range from anywhere from uh, 45 to to like $95 if you get the higher end with the custom graphics and the custom custom case and the paint job but or you can go just as basic white or black which is a little bit cheaper but uh, way 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 helpful if you're trying to get really get serious about gaming um, you can drop shot you can you know knife faster run more it's it's pretty useful and it's pretty cool to have too 
Now, uh, the next thing on the list is a rechargeable battery pack for your controllers. Now, if you're not really familiar with Xbox 360 controllers or PS3 controllers or even Wiimotes, um, they do take AA batteries. And it is so, so annoying when you have to replace your batteries, especially mid-game. You'll be playing an online game, and up oh, your controller goes out, and oh no, where are the double A's? You know, you're in the middle of the action, you're getting shot, and then there's nothing you can do about it because your controller's dead. And you have to go downstairs, you know, in the cupboard, find the double A's, or might have to go to the store and get them. And, th and not only that, not only that, it, their double A's and these batteries are actually pretty expensive. You know, a six pack of them is going to set you back like eight bucks, in a, you know, a normal setting. And I go to a gas station like that, could be even worse. But um, what the charging station is, is just it has two charging packs. So you can have one charging while one's playing or, you know, two controllers going with them. And it's just you plug them in. They're rechargeable, super nice, super convenient, you know, and they're so much nicer, too. And um, they're a little bit lighter than actually having batteries. So your controller's not as heavy in your hands. And I, I swear by these things. I've had mine for about three years now, but I love them. But that's it. The end of this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed these little quick suggestions, and I hope you guys have a good Christmas. And as always, guys, game the fuck on. Until next time, peace out. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys could drop me a like. It would be very much appreciated. And if you're new around here, you guys can feel free to subscribe for more of my daily videos and vlogs. And that's it, guys. Merry Christmas and game the fuck on. Until next time, peace out. Care package awaiting orders.